Hello, this video is about how to import DLC into your project. So this is for RPG Maker MV and we are going to import DLC into the project where we have started. So I've created a new project and you will see that if you go into your database to see some of the assets, for example the actors will make an extra spot and when we go to find the uh, the cover page DLC actors they're not uh, def by default they're not in there so I'm going to show you how to get them into your project it's rather simple okay we're just gonna we have two folders open our documents folder and the and our actual location I have the steam version so my RPG maker MV folder is in program file steam steam apps common so that's where it is and I'll find the DLC in the DLC folder and I will for the two DLCs that came with the pre-order were cover art characters and essentials add-on so I'm just going to show you a few folders that I'm going to transfer over so for example cover art characters here or no let's do the faces the faces okay so we will copy this from our program folder location and we're going to paste it into our documents now where it goes specifically go into your your local disk and then your documents find your games folder and you will see project 2 which I've created we go into our project we find images IMG and then you will paste it into the folder and it's gonna well you can either just paste it over the folder itself or you could go inside of it and paste it uh, since the folder only has two things that are unique I'm just gonna go ahead and well it says it's already in there because I've already done it went ahead and did it but so we're gonna replace it and uh, then you'll see in your documents project go to faces and you'll see package one and package two of the cover art so then we close these and we go into our tools database make a maximum an extra spot go to faces and you will see package one and package two so now we can choose the uh, DLC actors that come with it uh, you do this for everything the the faces the characters the damage tile sets the music so it's that easy and then just save your project and there you go have a nice one